Hello there Capricorns, welcome to your July 2016 tarot reading. So um, first message out I'm getting here is that I feel a lot of you are, um, there's this heavy burden lifted off your shoulders. Something new is beginning and I feel like the new thing is um, bringing about solidification of some major, major events happening in your life, okay? So I feel like within the past few months, everything was kind of like... Um, it seemed like you were walking on this road and everything starts to converge. All the different things, the different paths, different options are like converging at one major, major point in your life. And as a result of it, a lot of you are feeling very relief and you have a better sense of direction as to what you need to do. Uh, towards the middle of the month, I do feel some communication, official communication that is going to bring about. Um, what I'm getting is like, it says some crafty communication, crafty messages, okay, coming through from other people. And I feel like documents, um, I feel documents that need to be signed, so you have to be very careful about looking them over. It says something crafty, so you might need to, like, read the fine print. So they might be official documents, and you really have to, you know, take the time to make sure that everything is done carefully, everything is sent out appropriately, and that there are no surprises, okay? What I'm also feeling is uh, the communication, the official documents that are coming through is actually going to be very, very good for you. It's, um, I feel a lot of you are going to be very happy by the end of this month. Um, I see a lot of signing up of contracts, a lot of wrapping things up, wrapping up loose ends, and then moving forward in a more enlightened, in a happier, lighter mood overall. Okay, so the, this month, I feel that it's going to be very, very good for majority of you in terms of getting your wishes fulfilled, getting dreams, um, long-standing achievements finally being acknowledged. And I feel like this burst of new energy coming through like left and right I do see um, a lot of you this month you're going to be getting communication or you're going to meet brand new people who are very intelligent is what I'm getting and they're going to be pivotal in your life for the next few years so they're going to be significant they're go serving as significant mentors or like they're walking in your karmic destiny and as a result of it they might be in your life for a substan substantial, you know, period of time. So I do feel things are really looking up for you guys and things will get better um, from now on, okay? Yeah, so you have a lot of success coming through. I'm going to leave these face down for now. So let's talk about this situation here. This is coming in early on in the month, so I definitely feel a lot of you have formalized, made some major decisions in um, May. Yeah, we're in June. So, in June, excuse me, we're in July. So a lot of you have made some major decisions in uh, July. If it hasn't already happened the end of June, it is going to come in the very first week of July. And I feel like you all have awaited for something. You, you were waiting on something. And you were waiting very, very diligently, patiently. And you feel like this new thing that you're waiting on is really going to change the status quo in your life. Okay, we do have the Two of Wands here. This is a card of... Um, I feel like it's a partnership card, but it, partnerships can mean, you know, relationships or contract. I do feel there's a contractual, there's an official contractual professional uh, air about this job. And I do feel there, it hasn't been finalized yet. I, I do sense there's still a little bit of back and forth, negotiations, strategizing, and things like that coming through. So if you haven't finalized this in June, you are going to encounter this energy in early July. And it requires that, you know, you, you sign on the dotted line that you get something going for yourself so don't dither too long don't procrastinate on this and don't take too long but once again going back to the initial message I feel that you are going to have to look through paperwork very very carefully in order to understand you know long term what does this contract mean because I feel a lot of you are very anxious about getting things started you've been waiting 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 and finally it's culminating it's coming to fruition and when it finally comes in it's going to hit you from the left field and you have no idea that it's going to be this big momentous change in your life a lot of you already know it's going to be major but there are a minority of you that might not know it's going to be a major um major milestone in your life is what I'm feeling and there's some apprehension there's some anxieties here and a lot of you are thinking like, you know, am I making the right decision? Is this something that is going to be good for me? Am I really, really sure? I, I feel that a lot of you are sure. But there's always, you know, the, the head and the heart. 
um, the sword's energy indicates like mental energy. So this is more like thinking on practical terms, like, is this the right thing? Am I really sure? And then there's also the wand's energy, which deals with passion, which deals with more of the, the heart choices, you know. Um, so there's still a little bit of anxiety here, but I do feel that a lot of you are headed, headed in the right direction, okay? Now, in terms of the second cluster here, I do have the strength card and the five of cups. So the five of cups usually indicates regrets, despair over a situation that has ended in our lives, okay? This is a, a mourning card. It's a card about letting go of the old so that we can embrace the new. And I do feel that for a lot of you, you have to have left people behind. Um, people that might have walked out of your life or you had like an emotional attachment to one person and they can no longer be brought into your life, okay? A lot of the times this indicates as well leaving one job and going into another, leaving a group of friends and going into another. So it's a bittersweet type of a card mainly because um, what you feel like you left behind, you feel like the future won't have that same thing for you. So it's a bittersweet moment, but I do feel it's coupled with the strength card. So I do sense that, you know, relatively you're going to be fine. So this is basically muster up, mustering up, working up the inner strength to know that whatever is removed from our lives is not good for us so that we can inch forward with something that is meant for in our on our karmic path okay so i do feel relatively this is not a situation you're going to be ruminating over this is more of like seeing some false options dropping away so that you have a little bit more clarity and certainty as to how you want to move ahead so it's also saying with the strength card here the strength card is all about inner strength, intellectual strength, as well as this perseverance, I feel like pushing through, okay? Not being afraid to get our hands dirty. Um, I feel like one of the main lessons that you can learn from this situation here is that I feel for a lot of you, um, whatever situation you've had to leave behind, I feel that in the future, you're learning from the past mistakes and you're also going to... I feel it's almost like you're going to live life more like grabbing life by the horns. You're going to be a little bit more carefree. You're going to be a little bit more expressive. You're really going to be like not afraid to get your hands dirty, to fix problems as soon as they creep up rather than waiting for problems to, you know, snowball out of control. So if you've had a falling out with somebody recently, I feel that for a lot of you, you're, you're telling yourself and you're vowing to yourself. I'm not going to let this situation repeat in the future. As soon as a problem creep up, I'm going to get in there, get my hands dirty and try to fix it rather than leaving it alone, sweeping it under the rug and then things escalate, okay? So lessons learned from the past and I feel that the, the uh, bittersweet moments associated with something passing away so that something new can emerge, it has definitely brought about many, many important life lessons that you're bringing with you into the future. Now, in terms of love and romance, we do have here the Four of Cups and the Prince of Cups. So keep in mind, I am doing a um, relationship spread at the end of this love relationship. So um, what I'm getting here is for those of you who are just, you know, like bouncing around, I, I feel like you're not even looking for love or you're not. Um, it seems to me like you've got a lot of career life changing events coming into your life. And you have some options on the table. You have many, many options. I do feel here with the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is like being give, someone being given to, uh, four options. And they're trying to find the one that, you know, meet their emotional needs. So a lot of you might still be thinking about a, a water sign in your life, okay? So you have um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising that you're still potentially very hung up on. Um, whether or not this is somebody from the past, I do feel it's not a new energy. I don't get a new energy with this Prince of Cups, this Knight of Cups coming through, okay? So you have an offer coming through, and I feel like you're getting multiple offers, but you are ruminating over this person, um, possibly from the far past or even the recent past, but this is not somebody that's new. And they're giving you some options, like, should we do this? Should we do that? And you're just sitting there thinking like, I don't know if I want to do this merry-go-around. I don't know if I'm, you know, ready to re-engage. Re I'm not even sure if I'm ready to date right now. So I'm just going to let those um, options sit there. So I'm not going to advise you what you should or should not do, but I definitely feel a lot of options coming through. And in terms of 
the advice. I'm going to open them up later, okay? But I do sense that in love, romance, things are really opening up for you. Um, I feel very strongly a lot of you have a, a very strong, long-standing soulmate connection with another person. And it's really hard to shake the memories of that person. So even though you have all these choices coming in, and I feel like they're very good choices. You have your heart set on a specific person or a specific type that you're interested in. For a lot of you, it might be a water sign from the past or a recent past. So I feel like there is this deep-rooted emotional connection that you haven't been able to sever yet and you're still waiting for them to make a comeback you're still waiting for them to come through and you're still there's almost this sense of like I feel like the romance might have been gone but there's a deep-rooted friendship and there's still you know some either communication coming through or some hopes of an offer for even friendship or some type of continuity between you and this water sign okay so that's still it's it's somebody still weighing very heavily on your mind and you're not able to shake the memory of this person. Um, I do feel this person's a little bit crafty. I do feel like they're they're kind of like one foot forward, two steps back. Like they're, they're a little bit um, weird and confusing when it comes to their communication is what I'm getting. I feel like... I almost feel like... I don't know if they're shy. I don't get a shy energy. Usually I get the shy energy with the page of cups, but I'm getting this. There's some cloudiness. There's some murkiness, confusion. And, you know, going back to what I mentioned about um, some type of crafty communication, I feel like it might come from the, uh, the water sign. Okay, so be careful about that. So work, career, finances. You are feeling very, very elated at this point. I, I see this um, this bubbling energy of happiness, contentment in your life, okay? When it comes to work and finances and your professional image. Now, we have the Six of Wands here. This is a card about success. This is a card about getting a lot of support, good accolades, recognition, congratulations from a lot of people. And I feel like for a lot of you, whatever you have suffered through, whatever you know you have really slaved away at in the past, possibly the past six years is really starting to pay off. So this is like payday coming back for you around this time in July. I feel that it's um it's a card about public recognition. So you know the financial situation might not come in yet, but you're getting the glimpse of it through, you know, getting like really positive reception from where you are. There might be celebration, there might be people coming together congratulating you, throwing some type of parties for you. In terms of your work situation, what I'm sensing here with the 8 of pentacles is the Eight of Pentacles is usually a situation where I see somebody sending out resumes. A lot of you might be looking for new work and you're getting, you know, uh, you're getting praises as you go through the job interviews. And I feel like job interviews being offered on the spot is not unlikely for this month. So you're getting really positive reviews from the people in your environment. Love life is still a little bit shaky for this month, honestly, Capricorns, but I feel like you're going to be very well received in a social setting as well. And I see you work steady, working steadily for those of you um, currently employed and not um, looking for new work. Either way, I feel you working steadily and making steady progress, okay? So it's overall a very, very good month. I'm going to see if there's anything else associated with these two. I feel like for a lot of you in the past, you've helped out a lot of people. You've helped out a lot of colleagues, friends, co-workers, even bosses in their time of need. So I feel like you brushed aside your ego and your own needs in order to cater to the situation. And I feel coupled with the strength card, it, it seems almost as if uh, you did things not because you wanted to get recognition, but because you know these things needed to be done. So you didn't mind getting your hands dirty as a result of getting these things done. And as a result of it, I feel like good karma following you around, good karma coming back to help you. So I have a lot of spiritual energy for this reading. And I feel that um, for a lot of you, it's things coming full circle, things coming to fruition. And whatever you've done in the past is coming back not to haunt you, but to help you, okay? So let's look at your advice cards. Okay, so I spoke a little too soon. What I'm going to say here is whatever you've done in the past in terms of helping people, 
those things are coming back to help you as well. So I feel like uh, karma returning to its source, okay? Whatever you've done to other people that have not been either even-handed, they're also coming back as well. So in terms of the advice here, depending on which side of the coin you fall under, I'm going to say this. Um, this is not the month for you to sit back and rest on your laurels, okay? Despite everything that's happening here, I do feel there is still a lot of work that needs to be done. So balancing out your professional life and your private life is going to be very vital for you. So balancing out these two things and getting a grip on, you know, like uh, not overextending yourself when it comes to helping too many people where your own responsibilities are laid on the wayside, um, it's going to be very important for you, okay? So I feel like past good deeds are being paid forward and that has already been done so for this month try to get all your responsibility get everything sorted out and don't rest on your laurels there's still a lot of work to be done in terms of the second card here we do have the seven of swords and the seven of swords is sneaky sneaky energies i feel somebody around you honestly is coming back and I feel like this is somebody that you already know. This is somebody that is, um, there is a sneakiness around this person, okay? And I feel that the best thing for you here is to be on the defense about it, okay? To speak out about it, to be on the defense. You don't have anything to lose. And you are also in a position of authority for a lot of you. So you, your words are very persuasive and they have a, a command of authority about them. So people are going to... Be with you. I see you exposing something. I see you like um, watching somebody getting away with something that they're not supposed to. And you're like, should I or should I not? Should I leave it alone or should I expose them, call them out for what it is? I feel that it is best for you to expose this situation because I feel like while it does not directly affect you, it does affect other people around you and the people that you care about. And more than anything, it is an ethical, it seems like an ethical issue as well. And it needs to be nipped in the bud early on, okay? So the advice here is keep going where on the route that you're going. Don't rest on your laurels and be vigilant. Be ex extremely vigilant. Um, if you guys are going out and if you're in a very, very crowded environment, I see potentially some drinking, potentially some like uh, theft people getting away with things so you might be you know drinking having fun and having a good time here and I, I do see some some sneaky energy about you know potentially mislocating stuff losing things so be very careful about property property and uh, thefts and you know petty thefts just be very mindful about that okay I'm seeing for a lot of you it's this is weird but I fee see you fixing a fence I see you fixing a fence. I feel like you might have hired a contractor or somebody that was taken on to build something like fix a fence. They might have done a really shoddy job and I feel that, that you are coming in kind of begrudgingly and telling yourself, I can't believe I have to redo this because the other person messed up. I see you redoing, first of all, a fence. I see you redoing some type of a, a structure, like a physical building, a structure. And I feel that the whole, a lot of people are around doing this. So you're not the only one, but I feel that you're a little bit upset over it. But I feel that, you know, if it's going to be done, it, it's going to be done right by a Capricorn. So I feel that you're there to do some type of damage control, damage repair. So yeah, it, it seems to me like it's going to be a busy month. But for others of you who might be contractors, I do see a lot of clients coming through. And I do see like, it's almost like clients overflowing, okay? Like um, you have so many people coming through that they're overflowing. So very good energy, Capricorns. I do wish you all the best. Let's see what's in store for you for love. So. So Capricorn. Love relationships for July 
Okay, I'm going to pull out one more card to clarify this. Mm, one more card. So I pulled out a card to clarify this Knight of Wands in the middle, and then you get the King of Wands. And then you have the Empress card. Okay, I'm going to move them over so to avoid that glare. All right. So let's just see here. So once again, you have a solid offer coming through. Okay, so once again, the Four of Cups is re-emerging. And the Four of Cups is basically a lot of options, a lot of new things um, coming in for you. And I feel that you at least have four options on the table. I feel that for a lot of you, you're ruminating over still somebody from the past and you are trying to move ahead. It seems almost as if um, you're looking at a situation very realistically and you're asking yourself almost like, what can I expect with each individual option that is made available to me? And I feel for a lot of you, uh, none of the options are really panning out to be long term. I don't feel they're bad options at all. But what I'm feeling is like you're trying to fit somebody into your life for the long haul. And at, the, at this point, you're not interested in just, you know, uh, you're interested in a little bit more stability. Okay. And you're, you're looking for something that is going to uh, be carried into the future with you in a more stable light. The foundation here, I have the Eight of Cups in the reverse position. This is a card about walking away from a situation that is no longer, that you were once very emotionally invested in. In the reverse position, I feel there is this pull, there is this draw. Um, something is pulling you back in. Something from the past is sucking you back in. I do see there's a lot of gossip. There's a lot of like confusion. There's also a lot of conflicting thoughts, a lot of people interfering in a significant relationship as well. So I do sense that as a result of it, you are very, very careful now. Um, what I'm also getting for you is this is singles or couples, okay? I feel that if you've had like a dispute or an end, a breakup or something in the past, and I feel like you might have been very open and sh you might have shared a lot of these things with uh, your friends, family, things like that. You might have talked a lot about, you know, what exactly happened. And as a result of it, your friends, your family members might be very, very biased towards the other person that you were involved with. And as a result of it, they're giving you advice that's not appropriate. So I hope that makes sense. A lot of the times when we get into an argument with a significant other and then we had to vent and we vent to our friends and our families and we they only they care about us so they only hear it from our point of view. And as a result, it colors their um, impression of the person we're venting about. So now that you're like, um, you, you might have broken up and then now you're trying to get back together and your friends and family members your support system is like no don't do that because they don't know the ins and out and they don't know the whole story so they might give you advice and you're trying to they might give you advice and they might you know they, they might be just um, they they might not give you advice that's appropriate because they don't know the whole story so you want to filter this information out through your own sense of what you feel is the right thing to do based on this situation because only you have the whole story, okay? So advice coming in from other people might not be appropriate. So keep that in mind. Now, in terms of for others of you, if you are in a committed relationship, I do sense as well, if you're like in a committed relationship with another person, I do sense that there might be some disputes, there might be some differences in opinions. I do feel that family members, friends, and, and people like that um, giving you inappropriate advice. And I feel like if there is any trouble breaking out for this month, like, you know, arguments, fights, and things like that, be very, very patient when dealing with your partner, okay? I do sense, like, flirtation coming through for those of you who are coupled, like gossip, flirtations coming through from another person. If you are involved with a fire sign, I do sense there's some third party interfering. Um, I don't feel that your, your partner, the fire sign, is going to step out of the relationship, but there is some gossip associated with them. If you have started recently started dating this person, I feel their past coming through and you're kind of like, I just started dating them. They seem so great. So once again, you know, stick to your guns about this person. Having proper discussions is going to be very, very important for you, okay? 
For those of you in relationships with a water sign, I feel the water sign making amends, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, making some type of amends in your situation, okay? Like, um, I feel like some um, weird communication, just like confusion that has happened in the past, they're trying to make things right with you, all right? In terms of the fire sign, I do sense that, um, so fire signs are Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo, I do sense that um, there is some type of a rectification. I, I feel that whatever you hear, whatever you, you know about this fire sign, especially if you're dating them, if you're in a relationship with them, there's gossip. Don't trust it. There's gossip, but don't trust it. So don't be afraid to, you know, open up the discussion about these issues. I know it's kind of embarrassing for a lot of you Capricorn, and you might be like, no, I don't want to talk about it. I'd rather just sweep it under the rug. Well, you really can't this month. So whatever um, gossip is coming through, have a discussion, okay? I don't feel that it's the end of the world. And I feel they're actually on the... Um, on the straight and narrow, so I don't feel you need to worry about your partner stepping out of the relationship or anything like that. Now, a lot of you, I feel, if you're in a committed relationship and you're trying to get pregnant, if you're trying to, like, um, you know, like, have an addition to your family, I do sense that it is going to take some time. And it's telling me here in about four months' time, something will creep into the picture, okay? So I feel like if you're trying to get pregnant and you've been trying for the past four months, I do feel four more months, something creeping in into the picture unexpectedly regarding pregnancy. And I feel that it's going to be positive news for those of you waiting on either adoption or waiting on some type of pregnancy news, four months time. Um, for others of you who are single, single and dating, single and dating and... Um, I feel there is a very strong water sign in your life that is from the past. There has been troubles and I don't feel it's good for you to re-engage in that situation, okay? Because I feel like in the past you have emotionally walked away and also in the past it was a lot of um, a lot of drama, so just let it go. I don't feel that it's, it's meant to be on your karmic path anymore. There is also a very strong fire sign coming through from your end, okay? So this fire sign looks to me to be very solid, like um, solid of body. They might be a little bit athletic and solid of mind. So I feel like, you know, I, I pulled out this king of wands to clarify the, the knight of wands. And it seems to me like this is somebody who's very solid. They know what they're doing. And usually when the knight of wands shows up, I usually think of it as like, you know, somebody who is quite... Um, ruled by their libido but in this situation I feel that they're very strategic they don't just you know date around or uh, sleep with everybody they're actually quite picky and overall quite strategic they know how to hold themselves back they know how to rein in their passion so I feel like you're dealing with somebody like this I also feel like for a lot of you who are dealing with a fire sign and you're not dating them exclusively I sense as if in your mind, in your mind, you feel like, okay, so he or she might like this type of a person. And I feel like you're comparing yourself to people that you see him or her in pictures with, him or her dating in the past, and you feel a little bit intimidated. I feel intimidation coming through from your end. And I feel like the person you're dealing with is quite attractive. And I feel like you don't feel adequate for some reason. So let that sense of, you know, self-esteem go and really build yourself up because I feel like you have a lot of, to offer Capricorns, but I feel like they are very much interested in you and they're very much like aggressive. Um, I don't feel that they're going to let this go without a fight and I feel like this is new energies coming through. So I would say go for it, okay? I, I feel that you are kind of terrified. I, I see you thinking this situation like you're going through, you know, the motions of like, should I or shouldn't I? So there's a lot of rumination going on here. And there's a lot of like emotional back and forth in this situation, mainly because you're lacking in this sense of self-confidence when it comes to the dating life. But overall, very, very good month, Capricorns. I do wish you the best. And um, if you like a private reading, please click on my website. It is in the description box below. I'm currently booked until third week of July, and I've also implemented email readings as well. Email readings have a lesser wait time, okay? So I'll talk to you soon. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you back here around the 15th or so for the mid-month.
Take care of yourself and best of luck. Bye-bye.